In this video, we're going to address the, um, the pillow decorations and the separators in this, um, this uh, modern looking couch. Uh, so I'm just going to start by creating a primitive box. Um, let's just... And again, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and just kind of uh, eyeball the, where it's supposed to sit. And just maybe change the dimensions of it a little bit. Um, just need to be that wide, so Alright, so, um, and again, I can just preview a smooth version of it, and it's going to be a little bit, uh, <coughs> kind of, uh, too smooth at this point, so I, I want to add a couple loops, uh, so I can make, uh, sharper edges, and, uh, I'm just going to go with something like this, nothing too extreme, um, perhaps this one will just make it a little bit closer for it to be sharper. Same thing here at the bottom, and same here. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so one thing that I'm noticing is that this, this probably needs to be a little bit bended to be able to follow along the shape of the couch. So in order to do that, I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually going to add a little bit of resolution here in the middle of it, and then I'm going to use a nonlinear deformer to be able to bend it. So to do that, I'm going to uh, change my mode into animation and go into create deformers. And if you see the nonlinears, it's basically the this tab right here. And again, you get to it by going into animation, create the former nonlinear, and just detach that tab. <coughs> so I'm going to add a bend. And. Uh, Basically, a, uh, I'm just going to go here into my channel box and uh, change the curvature a little bit. And again, uh, it's two things that we can take out of what just, what just happened. Uh, one, we uh, see that now that we've added this bend, it has this node. That, again, there's a dependency between this piece of geometry and this, which is affecting the shape of it. And two, it's on the wrong axis. Uh, to fix that, I'm basically just going to select uh, the node itself, and I'm actually just going to rotate it so it's on the right um, axis, and just doing it negative 90 degrees, and it, it's now bending on the right direction, but it's a little bit too much of a curvature. I just want to make it bend a little bit, and uh, again, just to make sure that I'm doing the right amount. Uh, gonna go into my top viewport uh, orthographic and it seems to be the right amount of curvature um, the next thing that I need to do um, because now there is a dependency between that uh, bend node and uh, this piece of geometry it's uh, get rid of my history otherwise if I move my pillow it's gonna change the, the shape of it so to do that, I'm going to go into Edit, Delete by Type, and History. So now if I move my geometry, it's not going to change anything. <coughs> um, Alright, so now we just need to add a couple more details to this uh, pillow for it to, uh, to look more uh, natural. Because right now it just kind of looks like... It doesn't look like a like a pillow. Maybe we need to add like a, a little bit of a seam over here for that to to look a little bit better. So uh, I'm just gonna go back into uh, this mode. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of geometry. Maybe move some stuff around. So I want to actually probably make this a little bit closer to the edge to make it a little sharper. So I'm gonna switch back to my polygons go into slide edge tool alright and 
I actually want to uh, select all these loops, <coughs> all the the loop of edges over here, and this, then just kind of convert them into faces because I want to extrude them. So I'm going to go into select, convert selection, convert to faces, and now I can go into my extrude. Then I just need to kind of extrude it out from here, and that's going to create the, uh, the seam that I was trying to create right there. All right. That's just like a preview of that. So that's going to give me a little bit of seam here, um, but I need to make this a little bit more. Uh, pillow like so I'm actually gonna do a couple more things here uh, I'm actually gonna select all these faces I'm gonna go ahead and uh, extrude just kinda extrude in like this and maybe just push it out a little bit and see if this worked hmm. just gonna do this again and maybe try a different solution that didn't seem to work the way that I hoped Perhaps uh, I need to have uh, another loop around just to make this um, sharper and then use the next one to actually uh, bring it out. So let's just do uh, extrusion one more time. And then scale it down. That seemed to work a little bit better. It does look a little bit more uh, pillowy um, by doing that. So it has a little bit of of a, um, a seam uh, again, creating a little bit of interest, and we also bend it a little bit so it's following on the shape of it. And we can still go in there and uh, maybe just move uh, geometry around so it's not so flat. So that looked pretty good. <laughs> I might have to go later and do a couple of adjustments, but for now this is going to work. Now I want to do also, uh, uh, an instance of this, but I want to make it a duplicate special um, instance uh, because if I make if I'm going to make a copy of it and then later uh, make changes to it, it's going to affect both of them and not just the original. So I'm just going to create uh, an instance and apply. And then I'm just gonna kind of move it over here. I just set it where it's supposed to go. Again, probably should be doing this in my top orthographic viewport. Like this. Uh, I may also need to make another copy and actually put this, put another one on top of here. Um, so it's going to be three of the same. I could have made uh, two duplicate specials while I was at here by adding a number of copies. Uh, but I'm just going to make it like this. And again, just drag it over. 
rotate it. Just place it where it's supposed to go. Rotate that a bit. Perhaps for this one it's a little more bent than I wanted to, but still is going to create a little bit of interest because this has uh, an interesting shape right there. And uh, now we also need to create the uh, separators. <coughs> Uh, but I'm going to do that in the first, in the next lesson. But uh, again, just to make a point out of why you use instances over um, actual copies. And if I wanted to come in here and add a little bit more detail to this, it's just a matter of, let's say I want to add another loop here. Um, so I'm going to use my insert edge loop tool. And again, you're going to be able to see that anything that I do to this one is actually doing to this one over here as well. Last thing I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna go ahead and create a, a little bit of another extrusion here again just to kind of emphasize the seam part. So select convert two faces and then I want to go ahead and extrude and we're gonna extrude down. Like this and then make a preview of that and actually it looks a little better than what I had originally I think and again every change that I made to the original actually made to all the instances so now all that detail that I just added has been added to the instances uh, alright so in the next video we're gonna address the separator and the legs